action. Top Gun stars Tom Cruise as a young jet fighter pilot who is selected along with his partner to attend the Navy's Fighter Weapons School at Miramar, California. It was amazing getting in the back seat of that F-14. It's so exciting. I mean, the power that you feel. I mean, just sitting on a supersonic, you know, machine. It's, it's amazing. or in the cockpit flew so a lot of the filming that you see in the movie is actually the the actors up in the air uh, actually being filmed while they're experiencing experiencing the g-forces in order to do that they had to go through this training program which involves ejection training just in case there's an accident when they're in the air and they've got to eject one two three eject <laughs> okay if you're all right give me a thumbs up that was great it was a good shot we did the rushed version, which is a three-day intensive physical training to go up in the planes because the planes are, you know, there's no exits on the front to the rear and back of the plane. It's you, you eject if you want to get out of that plane in an emergency. So you have to learn all those procedures. You have to learn water survival because it's Navy. So if you eject out, maybe you eject from the plane, but then you hit the water, and how do you live from there? Okay, you're choking. First aid on your five. Eyes on the horizon. They took the uh, cockpit and shot it into the water, and then you have to escape out of that. And so they do stuff like hold you underwater for a while, and and then uh, see if you can float, and you know, fun stuff. that kind of thing, also a helicopter dunker. Because then once you're in the water and you're rescued, then the helicopter crashes. So you have to learn how to get out of the helicopter, blindfolded, underwater, eight feet. I mean, it's stuff that's real practical. Ready. Was frightening and then there's the whole physiology side of it which was another day of of training where we were put into a pressure chamber and taken up to 25,000 feet then you remove your oxygen mask to see what hypoxia is all about okay now the low side of the chamber only reach up and hold the mask tight to your face with one hand with the other release one of your retention fittings but keep the mask up to your face Okay, and then when I say release, I want you to let go of your mask and turn your oxygen supply off at the console. Okay, turn it off and begin your demonstrations. Six, seven, turn, face each other. Okay, this is Naval Aviation, gentlemen, and this is Fighter Town, and we do everything faster. So those of you doing the patty cake, let's pick up the speed. You got the routine. Uh, we're starting to break up here, okay. There's something they don't understand about basic patty cake here. Remember, I don't want to see how long you can last. I want you to experience some of the symptoms of hypoxia and then take the corrective action. Okay, uh, seven has had it. There's a little tetany there. Mask to the face, oxygen on. You, mask to the face, oxygen on. The uh, vertical rolls are exactly the same way, except it starts with a slow pitch pulse up here. 
You'll follow me all the way through this thing. Right about here, I'm just going to... Each morning, we'd have a, what they call a pre-flight brief, yeah? And in that pre-flight, you'd tell the pilots exactly what they're doing, what the maneuvers were, um, and then the actors involved in those maneuvers would be sitting in that meeting. Well, we just got a briefing about how I'm supposed to remember to say this line when I'm inverted and this line when I'm being chased and this line, and I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to get any of it right. I don't know. I have a diaper on, so I don't know. I have a diaper and an air sickness bag and a... Uh, Hopefully I'll, I'll be okay, you know, it's, uh, it's going to be wild. It's like, you know, the ultimate dragster. One of our first flights, one of the actors went up and the first maneuver, so the, the pilot operates the camera, he switches on off the from the cockpit. The first maneuver, camera switched on the actor sitting there and you can see his color so he's starting to change his eyes, starting to sit back a little. Yeah, camera went off. Next maneuver came up and all he saw was the top of a helmet, yeah. Then the third maneuver came up and he saw nothing, just space, just his whole where his head should have been. Fourth maneuver, the head was back there. <laughs> the mask off. He was green. <laughs> well, we went up, we went like this, he went like that. We uh I don't know, I mean. It's the weirdest thing I've ever done. There's no doubt about that. It's the weirdest thing. You're just up there. You know, you're up there. It's like nothing to hold on to but your, but your guts. I don't know. I didn't get sick. I'm the first one out of the uh, three that have gone up, so everybody owes me a drink tonight, I think. It's better. It's better than I expected. It was fantastic. Look at the gauge, you got two and a half minutes of film, and the pilot looked at the gauge and he says, Well, we, we should be going back. I said, No way. I said, This is this is free. This ride's free. This e ticket's free. I said, Let's go for a run. He said, All right, you want to go for a run? I said, Yeah. Next thing I know, we're going mock, breaking the sound barrier, ripping around these clouds at like 10,000. They put the nose down, we go right down to about 1,500, and letting it just fall back, just ripping through and just undercutting it. Just good time. <laughs> Ooh. It's, uh, you know, it's full tilt boogie rock and roll in the sky. Rock and roll! <laughs>